Brexiteer Anne Whittacombe has poured scorn on the EU's response to the coronavirus, pointing to the rapidity with which border were closed across the bloc irrespective of Brussels rules. And she said the ongoing crisis made the case for delivering Brexit on December 31 more compelling than ever. EU member states reimposed border controls in defiance of the Schengen Agreement to which 22 of them are signatories as the seriousness of the situation became apparent earlier this year. Ms. Whittacombe, a former Tory MP and Brexit Party MEP, said the incident was illustrative of a lack of solidarity. She told Express, the first thing that happened was they all closed their borders against each other, so much for freedom of movement, which was pretty much the first casualty. They all stopped sending medical supplies to each other. The whole thing just fell apart on day one of the first big crisis. There was just no unity around it. Merkel could have said anything at that point, or von der Leyen could have said anything, and so what? Referring to a legal challenge in a German court to the European Central Bank's bid to use Public Sector Purchase Program PSPP to mitigate impact of the pandemic, Ms. Whittacombe said, if you add into that the recent poll in Italy which shows half the population wants to leave the EU, what you have got there is a gradual fracturing of the unity of purpose. Once they start challenging each other at law then you have got a problem. Ms. Whittacombe also also the situation underlined the importance of leaving the bloc on schedule, at the end of the year. Asked at what stage the UK's economy would begin to feel the impact of the pandemic, she said, I think we've passed that point. When we come out of this if we think we know what austerity means we are in for a shock. It is more important than ever that we have control over our own economy. For example, it is as rule of the European Union that you cannot give state aid to your own industries to prop them up. How the hell do you come out of this without being able to do that? We have got to be free to make our own decisions. So far as I am concerned, Brexit has never been so compelling. As such, she agreed with Mark Littlewood, Director General of the Institute for Economic Affairs, who last month suggested any indication by Prime Minister Boris Johnson that he was willing to consider a further delay would be pounced on by Brussels. Miss Whittacombe said, I am sure that is true, I share that judgment. I think Boris Johnson has got to be very firm in saying every time he is asked, which he is quite frequently, no, we are going on the 31st and that is it and there is not any argument. Don't forget we have not got any say in EU law at the moment and if they start passing law as we start passing law as we come out of this in order to save themselves we are going to be in a very bad state indeed, we have got to get out on the 31st.